Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another piercing related video for you guys and this one is going to be what I keep in my piercing care kit. And what I mean by that is everything that I use to care for a new piercing of mine is what I'm going to be showing you. I don't have like a little kit thing, but store everything that you will need for piercings, then this is everything that I use and things that I would recommend. So let's go ahead and get started. For any of you who feel negative about any of the things that I use for my piercing, please click out now. I don't know if it's over here or over here, but please just exit out of this video because this video is not for you. This video is to help people who are curious to know as to what I use personally to care for my piercings. I don't care what you use. If you have a tip that helps, go ahead and add it, but please don't be negative because I'm just not, I'm just not in the mood to deal with your bullshit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the first thing that I would definitely recommend for my little kit. So the first thing that I definitely recommend that you have with you when you get a new piercing for your little piercing care kit or whatever is definitely antibacterial soap. The reason why I say antibacterial soap is because when you get a new piercing, it is very vulnerable for infection, irritation, things like that. So when you're cleaning a piercing, you wanna make sure that you have really clean hands. So for that, you will need antibacterial soap. This soft soap antibacterial is absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend it. You can get it for a dollar at Dollar Tree or you can find it in, you know, Meyer Walmart for like a dollar fifty, something along those lines. And this is definitely worth it. I recommend it. It just looks like this. I really like this one. I keep this in my shower for when I'm cleaning my piercings. I wash my hands first. So definitely recommend this for your piercings as well. Another really good thing to have with you when you're getting a new piercing is something to help with pain. Now, one of the things you can definitely help with the pain, especially if it's a tongue piercing or anything like that, ice water. Definitely drink tons of water, drink tons of ice water because it'll help with any swelling or anything like that. Another thing is if you have a tongue piercing, crush up some ice and suck on some ice chips. Just put it in a cup and just eat the ice chips. That'll make you feel a lot better and it'll help with the swelling as well. Another thing that I really recommend for, this goes for any piercing, because usually after you get a piercing, you are gonna be feeling a little bit of pain. So I recommend either Tylenol or Ibuprofen. I just get this Ibuprofen from Dollar General. It just looks like that. I get the 500 coated tablets and these are 200 milligrams. So when I got my septum done, I was very, very sore and Ibuprofen like saved my life. Same with one thing when I got my tongue pierced is ibuprofen was a lifesaver. So definitely have some type of, you know, Tylenol or Advil, Advil PM or something like that to help you, um, you know, cope with the pain of some sort. So yes, definitely some type of pain reliever. Another good thing to have, and this kind of leads into the next two things. So this thing and another thing is a saline solution. And for that, I highly recommend, especially if you're someone who is on the go a lot or someone who doesn't really have time to do like an actual sea salt soak thing, you know what I mean? I recommend picking up H2 Ocean. H2 Ocean can be bought at Hot Topic, it can be bought on Amazon, it can be bought in some piercing shops, carry it, or it can just be bought on H2 Ocean's website. Definitely pick up some H2 Ocean. This stuff is amazing. It's perfect for when you're on the go, especially if you go on vacation and you don't want to you know, chug along a lot of sea salt with you, bring this because this is actually a saline solution. This is a piercing aftercare spray. It just looks like that. This is the four, the four full ounce bottle and it's just a little spray bottle like that. And it is the perfect mixed saline solution to help heal your piercings. I use this on every single one of my piercings. So this is definitely a yes. And when you order it off Amazon, they actually give you a little pamphlet thing like this. And this just tells you all about H2 Ocean, you know, what it is and how it helps. They also have a little phone number down here if you need to call them for whatever reason. And then on the back, it actually comes with aftercare tips for your piercings, which are also very helpful. Another thing that I like to have with me in my big little collection of take care stuff is sea salt. Now sea salt when you have a fresh piercing is very important. It'll help heal your piercing and it is the most beneficial and the most natural way to clean your piercing. When you do have a piercing and you do buy sea salt, you have to make sure that it is 100% non-iodized sea salt. This big thing right here is from a pet store and I asked him if this is non-iodized sea salt and he said yes. So what I did is I bought a big thing of this and ever since I got my belly button piercing this is the stuff that I've used and it works absolute wonders I love this stuff definitely pick up some sea salt this is a 10 this is 10 gallons of sea salt right here so 
it, it'll last me a lifetime. So definitely pick some Seesaw up. Make sure it's non-iodized. Make sure you check. Some piercing shops actually carry their own non-iodized Seesaw so you can get it from them or whatever. Another thing that is really important to have is of course some Q-tips and cotton balls. I use these for my piercings all the time. Not only do I use them for nail polish and cleaning out my ears, but they're also really good for piercings. Q-tips make it really precise to get into any new piercing, like especially my ear piercings to clean this one. Q-tips were awesome to clean my septum, my nose, my Monroe on the outside and the inside. So Q-tips are an absolute lifesaver when it comes to piercings. Always make sure that you have some. I only have a little bit left because, you know, I did just recently get my septum pierced about two months ago now. So I've been using a lot of Q-tips to keep this baby clean. There is a lot of debate on whether or not Q-tips should be used for piercings because of the little fibers getting stuck that's really never happened to me and go get some good quality ones and that won't happen to you but I don't even worry and stress about that stuff because you know I take really good care of my piercing so there shouldn't really be any concern of that and another thing is cotton balls which everyone knows what cotton balls look like they just look like this and these are also really good I use these a lot on my eyebrow piercing what I would do is I would make my little sea salt solution um, with what I just talked about, all this salt, I'd make my little solution in the cup and then I would take a cotton ball, soak it in the solution, and then what I would do is I would lay it on my eyebrow piercing because while my eyebrow piercing was healing, it was kind of a pain in the ass. So this kind of helped do my little sea salt soak with the cotton ball. Really beneficial, really awesome. Um, cotton balls work great for that as well. So always have Q-tips, cotton rounds, cotton Q-tips, cotton balls, whatever, cotton whatever, and it'll help, I promise. Another product that I highly, highly, highly recommend that you have with you is Provan Antimicrobial Lotion Soap. It just looks like this. You guys have heard me talk about this time and time and again. I really want to thank Kinky Nikki for here on YouTube for talking about it because ever since I heard about it, I picked it up and it is a lifesaver, just like she said. Recommended by the APP, which for those of you who don't know, which is the Association of Professional Piercers. Highly recommended by them. They do um, recommend this soap is really good for piercings. It's moisturizing, but not too moisturizing. And it is a professional antibacterial soap. So it'll really help get in there and clean your piercings. This can be bought off of Amazon. Excellent, excellent stuff. It's amazing. Next product that I recommend for a little piercing care kit and to always to have is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is something that has been used on piercings for quite a long time. You see either tea tree oil, almond oil, or I believe the other one is emu oil, I believe it's called. And this stuff is also again absolutely amazing we usually when you get a nose piercing either especially nose piercings they're very very common sometimes you get little friction irritation bumps called keloids and keloids are something that just happen with nose piercings everyone who's had a nose piercing has experienced that before and this stuff will save your life it is amazing every time I would get like a little bump or for my septum for example I have one over here what I do is I take a little bit of tea tree oil on a q-tip and dab it over top of the bump and it really takes care of that problem and it really does help now this stuff is very very strong and this should not be used to clean your piercings with of course because it can really dry out and irritate the piercing and the skin surrounding the piercing so don't use this too often maybe a couple times a week three times a week or four that's pushing it but don't use this too much but it is definitely beneficial for you to have in your piercing care kit I got mine at Walgreens for around ten dollars it is kind of pricey but I promise it's worth it and it actually kind of smells really relaxing I don't know if any of you have smelled lavender oil but this stuff kind of has a really strong relaxing scent to it so I kind of like the scent a lot of people don't but you know whatever and it's just this little bottle but this has lasted me um, two and a half years and I'm like about here now. The last product that I have for this piercing kit is something that gets a lot of debate and hate on and I only, I agree with it for some cases and other things I don't agree with it being used for, you know what I mean? And that is hydrogen peroxide. Now, in the piercing world, some piercers will tell you that it is a big, big no-no and to use on you know your healing piercings and some piercers will actually say yes it's okay to use so definitely don't use this on fresh healing piercings what I like to use hydrogen peroxide for is my ears I use them on my earlobes 
and I've actually used it up here as well. And sometimes after a while when you have a piercing, sometimes it gets a little like smelly and just kind of weird and it just kind of gets a little sore depending on the type of jewelry you have in or anything like that. And I like to use hydrogen peroxide to wipe down the ear just to clean the ear and make the ear feel fresh. So that is the only time I use hydrogen peroxide. Definitely don't go and get a nose piercing and then start cleaning it with only this. You should definitely be using antibacterial soap and sea salt non-iodized sea salt for a new piercing. I just like to use hydrogen peroxide for my ear piercings, or up here it helped heal this puppy a little bit. I did use it on this. So yeah, hydrogen peroxide just looks like this. I got this for a buck at the dollar store and I really like it. I don't care what anyone else says. It's something that I like to use on my low piercings. You don't have to use this by any means. You definitely don't have to. And a lot of people who are piercers who are going to be watching this video, they're going to be like, are you fucking retarded? No, I'm not retarded. I do use this and it won't hurt that bad, especially on my low piercings. Like it's not going to do anything. The one thing that you should definitely never, ever, ever be using on your piercings is any type of ointment. Like I hear people using Neosporin on their piercings and people using alcohol. Oh my gosh, that just makes me cringe inside. I don't, like, and some people have actually told me that they use Vaseline on their piercings, which for those of you who don't know what Vaseline is, it's like a really thick ointment cream that's used on burns sometimes, and same with Neosporin. It's like a, like when you scrape your elbow, it's used for that. So, and I don't know who in their right mind would tell people that stuff's okay to use. Like, that's just absolutely nuts to me. You should never ever be using any type of ointment on your piercing. That does absolutely nothing for it. When you do that, the ointment is suffocating your piercing. Your piercing is not getting any fresh air. And that ointment is actually collecting dirt and bacteria. And it's just going to cause problems for the piercing. So never, ever, ever use any type of ointment for your piercing. Never. Not a good idea. Another thing is people are using alcohol to clean their piercings. Again, another big no-no. Never, never, ever a good idea to clean your piercing with alcohol. Alcohol is way too harsh. It's going to irritate the piercing like crazy, and it'll also really, really irritate your skin. If you're using alcohol on your piercing and you notice your piercing is very, very red, that's why. Never use alcohol on a fresh piercing. It's not a good idea. It's not going to help you, so just don't do it. No Neosporin, no Vaseline, and no alcohol. Hey everybody, so that is everything that I recommend for your little piercing care kit. I hope this was helpful and I hope I gave some of you some ideas, some things that I didn't add in here, especially if you're getting an oral piercing, like a tongue or a lip or a smiley, a tongue web, anything like that. Always make sure that you have um, alcohol-free mouthwash. That's one thing I forgot to add in here, but always make sure it's alcohol-free in case you have some type of oral piercing to clean your mouth out. But other than that, that's everything that I highly recommend for a piercing care kit. Again, I hope I gave some of you some good ideas and some good pointers. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer that for you. Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys!